Who doesn't know Jim Carrey? He's stupid, he's funny, he's hilarious. But such person when talks about spirituality, self-realization and uh, reincarnation kind of things, it sounds a bit different. So just listen to him. This is very beautiful and very thought-provoking. A few months ago, after knowing Eckhart Tolle for a while and God, I'm the universe. What Jim felt is like sthita prag, which means being in state of disattachment, but still attached and involved with everything around you. One day, I read something from Buddha that said that all spirituality is about relieving suffering. And I suddenly realized that's what I'm doing in the other room. <laughs> and, and I'm aligned. You know, this, my purpose is aligned with this. So I felt incredibly lucky. I lose sight of that all the time. I get caught up in different concerns and ego concerns. But I'm so lucky to be a part of this community and to, to, to do something that is of value. The urge of getting detached from pain, from suffering, is what we all think and feel all the time. Sometimes consciously and sometimes unconsciously. But that's the start of getting yourself detached from this world and attached with the Supreme Soul. It was a, definitely an important moment in the process where I found myself uh, subjugating Jim Carrey for Andy Kaufman and Tony Clifton and then, uh, and then at the end of it looking for Jim Carrey again and having trouble finding him and at a certain point I, I realized, hey wait a second you know, if it's so easy to lose Jim Carrey, who the hell is Jim, Jim Carrey? Or I was kind of watching from another place. And there's been a series of Hello. kind of awakenings I've had in my life. And, uh, you know, people chalk it up to depression and all that stuff. I think that, you know, grief and sadness and all those things are, are, are the, the ticket home uh, to nothing. I think that that was a part of the process. There's been several other awakenings and 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 yet still I... I have a lot of egoic attachments that, that, uh, that pull my attention and focus. This is really strange and common with uh, all the people who go through the detachment process. Not only detaching from the world and things, but they also feel detached from their own self. They become an uh, audience of their own self. And this feeling is really strange for you and others. You said you've kind of disassociated yourself with with Jim Carrey, but does it, you know everyone? You see your face. There's so many iconic roles and so many of our favorite movies. That has nothing to do with Jim Carrey. That's just that's just what happened, and uh, and it was it is wonderful, and uh, there's insane gratitude around it and uh, wonder around it. How did it happen? And and uh, uh, fulfillment from it, and uh, it's. I look back at it and, I, and I, I, I see something beautiful that, that rose out of nothing and happened for no one. What Jim is saying is that when you realize that you are not what you were in the past, is uh, just like in movies what he did. He is just playing a part. Just imagine that you are an actor and you are performing uh, a role as an actor. But that's not you. That's a drama. So it doesn't affect your actual being, which is your soul, a blissful state which doesn't get affected by any role you do, even it's good, even it's bad, or even it's uh, something uh, hilarious, or if, even if it's something very sad or bad. Living with this awareness is the real freedom. I, I'm not looking forward and I'm not looking backward and I'm not... You know, the, the aspect of this that's backward to me is like a contemporary thing. What's, what's, what's good about this movie? It's not a look back. It's, it's a contemporary concept. It's what's happening right now inside everybody is they're going, who am I? And they're depressed, you know, a lot of people because they're trying to hold up an image in the world. And that's what depression is. You know, people go like, oh, Jim's been depressed and stuff. Well, yeah, I was depressed when I was trying to uh, be the Wizard of Oz instead of a sweaty guy behind the curtain. Uh, but now I know that Oz is the character, you know, and... Uh, and you know, I think everybody deals with that. Everybody walks around and they go like, why am I depressed? Well, it's because you're trying to be something for the world, you know? And as soon as you let that go, better things happen. 
because they're just happening, but it's not, uh, you know, now it's just sadness. You know, sadness comes, happiness comes, it's the weather that flies by the sky. It doesn't sit on you long enough to drown you, you know. What Jim said about depression is very important for all of us and what you feel and realize when you uh, are aware that um, the parts you are playing in your life is not you. You are a soul and uh, understanding that is very empowering. And when it happens, you take your past and don't make it your identity. If something bad happens, it's natural. Even there are different seasons, but nothing stays for long. It's just a phase. Depression goes away when you practice detachment. I've read a couple of places where you said you've had, you struggle with depression from time to time. I was on Prozac for a long time. Yep, I was on Prozac for, for a long time. And I, I'm not sure, I mean, it may have helped me out of a, uh, a jam for a little bit, but people stay on it forever. You know, I, I had to get off at a certain point because I realized that, you know, everything's just okay. No yeah. peaks and valleys. There are peaks, there are valleys, but they're all kind of carved and smoothed out. And it feels like a low level of despair you live in, where you're not getting any answers, but you're living okay. And you can smile at the office, you know, but it's, it's a low level of despair. And you don't take any of them. You don't take anything yet. Nothing. I don't take anything. I rarely drink coffee. I'm very serious about no alcohol, no drugs. I just, life is too beautiful. After talking to you for a couple of hours, I mean, I just, I get this sense you are, you are a big bundle of conflicting emotions. Really? Don't you, you, you get that sense from me? Well, I think you're very emotional about a lot of things. It's all very close to the surface. Yeah, it is. I've decided to be there. I only act in the movies. I only act in the movies. So well said. So when you're sensitive, that doesn't mean that you get affected. When you're sensitive, you are in tune with nature. If you have any kind of addiction, even it's uh, some kind of substance or um, something you like to do when you're in stress, all these things are just keeping you away from reality. Uh, in, um, in Hinduism, it's called Maya, which is uh, just like uh, what you see in uh, the movie called. So when you, when you get out of the matrix, you realize that uh, what you're feeling from these substances is an illusion. And this illusion keeps you uh, in despair, in pain and depression. I think that we're all, you know, we're all trying to uh, add things to ourselves so that we can finally define, our, define ourselves and then everybody will get us and they'll go, okay, that, this is what you are. And then if you actually get there, uh, you will find it so empty that you'll realize that's really not what it's about. It's, it's about not only, you know, just going with the flow, but it's about not taking it personally, you know? It's like the difference between how, a house and my house is a world of difference and it's the my that's the problem, you know? So you can do all this without the my involved, you know? You can do it uh, in a way that it's not, life isn't happening to you, it's happening for, yeah. you know, for the good of everyone. It's just a, it's like a, it's a play. It's a, it's a, it's a f giant, you know, field of consciousness dancing for itself. And you're here to make me happy and you're to kind of, it's making itself happy, you know? It's like one soul, that's how I feel. I feel like, you know, people say, well, I have a soul. You don't have a soul, there's no you, but I, I feel like there is a soul and it includes everything. Yeah. And when you wake up in the morning and you feel like, I'm the universe, you don't have to reach for the stars, you know, you can just let life happen yeah. and walk through the doors. This is so amazing what Jim expressed about his uh, experience. What he felt is something, uh, detachment, sannyas, leaving everything and uh, detaching yourself from the concept of mine, my. So whenever we are attached with our own self, we are also limiting ourselves to reach the supreme truth. And uh, when you detach yourself, then only you will feel the, you know, emptiness, but still the inclusion with the universe, you become the universe. That's, that's why they call Aham Brahmasmi, I am the universe, I am the God, I am the creator. And this feeling is... Uh, very common when you are in the path of uh, spirituality and wisdom and awakening. So I hope you like this video. Like and subscribe to the channel because I 
always post such kind of video which I feel when I see that it is worth spreading with uh, my point of view and uh, enrich the video and content. So thank you very much for watching.